Hello everyone and welcome back to This Is Real Life. I'm your host Sherry and on today's Skincare Saturday, I'm hoping we have a good one because I've got a bag of treats ready to test. So what's in this bag of treats, you ask? And where did I procure such skincare items? Well, I'll tell you. In this bag, we have one, two, three different skincare items that I happened to purchase like a sucker at DragCon in LA. Yep, from a vendor at one of the booths. You know, kind of like how um, I tested that one product that I bought from a vendor at the home show. Yeah, this is like that. And I swear, these vendors see me coming a mile away. And the thing of it is, I don't keep walking when they're like, hey, 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 come here, you wanna try this? You wanna see, you want your wrinkles to vanish? I'm like, yeah, I do. And I walk on over and I sit right down in their chair and I let them give me the whole spiel and I let them test it on my face, show me it in the mirror, tell me how much it is, and tell me how much of a deal they're gonna give me if I buy it right then. I'm a sucker and I fall for it every time and this time was no different. This time, I mean, I wanna say this time, it's gonna work, but I don't know. This time, I was told that I only have to use the product for 10 days. And then after 10 days, I'll have my desired results and that all I'll have to do is maintenance from here on out once a week. However, after reading the back of the box and on the website, it says for two weeks. And I swear they told me 10 days, but the website and the back of the box does say two weeks, so I guess I will be testing it for two weeks. What are we testing? I'll tell you. So the main draw, what suckered me in to the vendor booth at DragCon was the, I don't know how to say this, Juval? I'm gonna go with Juval. Juval Wrinkle and Puffiness Solution with acai stem cells and cucumber. Oh yes, oh yes indeed. Now, like always, they tell you that this product is a million dollars. However, if you buy it on the show floor, they're gonna save you way, way tons of money. I don't want you to choke, but if you were to go to the Juval website and try to purchase the wrinkle and puffiness solution, you would pay $900. However, it is on sale right now on their website for $750. Now, I know that you know that I did not pay $750 for this product. I'll let them test products on me all day or day, but ain't no one getting me to spend $750 on one product. They gave me a deal. And I like to say I worked them because I got two free gifts with my purchase. Now, the deal wasn't cheap. It wasn't cheap at all. You might be thinking if you know anything about the drag cons. Sherry, drag con was a while ago. Why, yes. Yes, it was. It was in May. It was on my birthday. So I was like, I'll give myself a little birthday present. I would never spend this amount of money on anything ever, but it was my birthday. And plus, what was her name? She gave me her card and her personal phone number. Her name is Dorian. She was a doll, so I bought it. Here's my receipt. The syringe of the Wrinkle and Puffiness Solution, regularly $900. She gave $600 off. So I paid $300, but then I also received the Juval Dark Circles and Eyelid Lift Solution that is regularly $400 I got for free. Yay! And then I also got the Facial Rejuvenating and Peeling with Acai Stem Cells and Vitamin C, which is regularly $300. I got that for free as well. I know. I know. I got $1,600 worth of skincare for $300. I say props to me. And double props if it does what it says it's going to do in 14 days. So what does it say it's going to do? Well, let's read about it. First off, just by going to the homepage of their website, it says, we provide quality skincare. Let us help you 
feel beautiful. And then it goes on to talk about their stem cell technology. Cells in the body have specific purposes, but stem cells are cells that do not yet have a specific role and can become almost any cell that is required. I didn't know that, I had no idea. Scientists are also working on ways to develop stem cells from other cells using genetic reprogramming techniques. We are using the same technology, but our products contain stem cells from nature, like plants and fruits. Many skin products nowadays are filled with chemicals that don't actually help you. Quality should never be compromised. No matter what skincare product you're looking for, we guarantee reliability. Our products are based on acai stem cells, vitamins, lemon, and caffeine. Our goal is to provide products you can trust. Now that all sounds great. Let's get to the actual products that I purchased at DragCon. So first we have the Juval Wrinkle and Puffiness Solution Acai Stem Cells and Cucumber. When applied directly to fine lines and crow's feet, this professional quality treatment will visibly diminish the length and depth of your deepest wrinkles, leaving your skin with the flawless finish of youthfulness. It says that we're supposed to use this every night for the first two weeks, then continue to use once or twice a week. All right, sounds good, sounds easy. Next up, what do we have? Dark Circles and Eyelid Lift Solution. Refresh and revive the look of tired eyes and dark circles with this brightening solution. Infused with acai berry extract and caffeine, this formula will reduce the visibility of dark puffy under eyes and give skin a lifted look. On clean skin, gently apply to the area around the eyes, focus on fine lines and dark circles. It says we're supposed to use three to four times a week, morning or night. For best results, we're supposed to use after the wrinkle and puffiness solution. So this goes on first and then this goes on second. And it looks like we only have to use both of those at night. So yay, that's easy. Last up, we have the facial rejuvenating peeling. I went to their website to find out more information and I got a 404 page error. So I'll just read on the back of the box. Rejuvenate the look of dull, tired skin with this gentle exfoliating formula. Infused with vitamins, botanical extracts, and walnut shell powder, this facial peeling removes dead skin cells and impurities to reveal a new layer of younger looking skin, promoting radiance and boosting the efficiency of your skincare products. On dry skin, we apply using upward circular motions for 30 seconds. Rinse clean with cool water, use one to two times a week. Okay, so I probably should wash my face. I don't have a cleanser and I don't have a moisturizer. So as per usual, I am gonna just cleanse my face right now. I'm trying to finish up the Spa Scriptions Hydrating Foaming Facial Cleanser. This does not have any anti-aging properties in it. It's just a generic old face wash. So I'm gonna use this up. Once this is gone, I'll move on to another face wash that I have that doesn't have any anti-aging properties to it. And then moisturizer, I'm still using that CeraVe. So I might as well use that in the morning considering it sounds like all of these products are for the night. So let me wash my face and we'll take the before pictures. All right, face is washed before pictures have been taken. Now, even though on the show floor of DragCon, Dorian said that I only had to use this for 10 days before I see desired results, on the back of the box, on the website, it says every night for the first two weeks. So I will be testing this for two solid weeks. Let's start with our facial rejuvenating healing that we are supposed to apply on dry skin using upward circular motions for 30 seconds and then rinse clean with cool water. So let's open, I mean, I was gonna say, you gotta give it to them for the packaging, but their products are very expensive. So the packaging should reflect that. So very nice packaging, a little magnetic box here. We open it up. Oh, ooh. Golden. I love gold. 
very snug in there with a nice little like velvety, faux velvet padding. Here is the container, kind of metallic-y, silvery looking. And inside, we've got our little protective situation here. Ooh, ooh, ah, look. It's like, uh, I don't know, first thing that came to mind was honey with poppy seeds in it. Ooh. No, I'm not a fan of the smell. I need to take a class on how to describe smells because I'm not very good at it. I don't know if I've ever smelled it before. It's not hideous. It doesn't smell like floral. It doesn't smell like a fruit. Maybe it smells like acai stem cells and vitamin C. <laughs> you know what it almost smells like? A plastic doll, maybe like a Barbie where it's not quite plastic. You know, like one of those flexible bendy dolls. That's kind of what it smells like to me, but yeah. That's what it looks like. And we are supposed to apply this in upward circular motions for 30 seconds. Now it doesn't say how much to use of it. So I'm just gonna go in with the back of my finger here. That seems like a lot, but then also it doesn't. It looks like it has like black seeds, which I'm calling the poppy seeds. And then it also looks like it has little white exfoliating beads in it. I'm gonna get it on both hands. It's it's got the texture of hair gel. So upward circular motions for 30 seconds. Now I do feel a little bit of the bead action. It's not scratchy. You can just feel a little bit of the beads. Very light, very light. Nothing dramatic, nothing to write home about. You just feel them just a little bit. I don't know upward circular I'm trying to, but then what do you do when you get to your forehead? What do you do when you get to your nose? I'm just doing all sorts of circular motions and I wanna get it on my neck as well. As I keep circular motioning it, it feels to be like thinning out, less hair gel like, and a little bit more cleanser like. I think the amount I used is the perfect amount for my face. Oh, it's like kind of, kind of foamy, but not really foamy, just like whitish. Ew, look at my hands. That's gross. That can't be my skin. What is it? Look at it. What is that? I'm sorry, it's tripping me out. Look, I can like roll it into a ball and it's not like breaking down. Is that not the weirdest thing you've ever seen? What is that? I don't know, but it's weird. Look, that's weird. Let's rinse it off. Okay, it rinsed off just fine. As I was rinsing it off, it was like, I know I've had this since like mid-May and it is the end of July right now. Is it expired? What's going on? I just opened it. It wasn't like I opened it on the show floor. This was a brand new package, so the seal was never broken. Oh, the expiration date is 30 months. So it's not expired. So I'm guessing that's what it's supposed to do. So yeah, I will tell you this though, skin feels pretty smooth. Not gonna lie, it feels real smooth, real smooth. I don't know what that weird balling up technique situation was, but whatever, maybe it was stem cells regenerating themselves into something else on my face. No idea, but we have rejuvenated and peeled. Step one, done. All right, now on to the, you know, the star attraction, the wrinkle and puffiness solution, acai, stem cells, and cucumber. Apply a small amount directly to areas of concern on clean, dry skin. Gently smooth and tap with your fingertips and stay, and stay expressionless for 90 seconds, allowing the solution to settle down. Okay, I have to remain expressionless for 90 seconds. So you know that means I'm not gonna be able to talk to you. Let's open her up and get all my thoughts out of the way before I put this on. So this one has a cute little pull tab right here. So, oh. Now it's in one of those hideous syringes, which is just, I'm serious, you guys. Dumbest packaging on the planet. Here it is. There's our lid. This is solid. Does this come off? No, how can, no, no product can come out of here. I don't want to break it. It's freaking $900. Look, there, how do I do it? Okay, there's a bottom and it says open this way, close this way. Do you think this white thing comes off? Should I just pull it real hard? Ah, it does. There we go. All right, so I'm supposed to apply a small amount directly to the areas of concern. 
Well, you know what? My whole face is an area of concern. So how about we do that? I'll start with the deepest wrinkles, furrows, brow, eyes, mouth, up of this away. And then I have to remain expressionless for 90 seconds. So don't make me laugh or anything. You know, it's very hard for me. You guys tell me all the time. I emote way too much, hence why I have so many wrinkles. But this is going to cure it all. So no worries. Okay, so let's just get a little bit out. Okay, little dab. It's like peachy in color. Kind of serum-y, more serum-y than lotion-y, I guess I would say. All right, I've already started tapping. Oh, expressionless time happens now. I'm gonna get more, little, two little more dots. I'm gonna go up here. I'm being very expressionless. I might have to close my eyes so I don't look at you guys because you'll make me laugh. Let me get around my eyes. That was a lot. Let's go here and here in the forehead and watch to see if anything happens instantly because I swear when I was sitting in the chair, she handed me the mirror and like I could see the wrinkles flattening out. You know how they do. Now there, I'm not gonna talk. I already said I wasn't gonna talk and I've been talking the whole damn time. So. Okay, I try my best to be expressionless for 90 seconds. Now, it does tighten up. It feels akin to, remember that face mask that we tried a really long time ago that everybody was doing? It was like the thing, you remember, where it tightened up your whole face? This does feel like that while it's drying. And you can see that it definitely did tighten up some of my lines and wrinkles right away. Definitely smoother, but it's almost like the minute you start moving, everything's gonna come back. Now, I would say your best case scenario is you do this right before bed, you don't say a word to anybody, you close your eyes and you go right to sleep. That's what I would say. I mean, but look, see, like, look it. I don't, I don't know guys. I know this is a pretty penny, but you know, maybe go to a home show or a drag con and get a deal too. I, I know, we're putting the cart before the horse. This has been one application. We still have to try the dark circle cream and we've got to do this sucker for a solid two weeks before we see anything so let's not get our hopes up but i'm kind of was getting my hopes up a little bit because look at the crow's feet situation i'm just saying i'm just saying all right and last on our skincare regimen is the dark circles and eyelid lift solution this says on clean skin gently apply to the area around the eyes focus on you know what? Focus on fine lines and dark circles. So I'm wondering if this is going to have the same effect as what we just did. And then maybe I don't need to apply this to here, even though it does say for best results use after the wrinkle puffiness solution. So we're supposed to use this three to four times a week, morning or night. And this we're supposed to use every night. So, I mean, I feel like I might as well just use this every night. And then our peel situation we use twice a week. So let's open this up. Oh, there it is. All right. Oh, you know what? Let's see. This is 0.5. Five, three ounces, not a lot. There better be enough in here for two GD weeks, I tell you what. And then maintenance, once a week, forever, I'm just saying. Now this is one fluid ounce. The peel, the most bang for your buck. This has the second most, and this, the most important one, has the least amount of product. And it's the most expensive. All right, so here it is. Ooh, it's clear. Oh, P.S. This had zero smell. This has a floral smell to it. I'll tell you that. That I can definitely tell you. That's floral and it's almost older lady 
rose, you know, like rose water perfume. That's what this smells like. So we put it around, we put it on our eyelid, focusing on our fine lines and wrinkles. I'm gonna just get a little bit of more of a squirt. It's very serum -y as well, getting it on my eyelids. And voila, we are done. Skin care routine done for this evening. This is night one of our 14 night test. I will check in periodically and let you know how it's going. Okay, so we are officially at the halfway point of our Juval test. Tonight is day eight. So I have already washed my face. I have used this twice so far. Am I supposed to use it tonight? I think I'm supposed to use it right now. Might as well. So let me uh, do this little face scrub. I still, I mean, I still, I've used it twice. It did the same thing. Like it did that weird balling up situation. Um, this is how much I have left after using it two times. Just like I did the first time, I go in with the back of my finger, I rub it together, and then I start doing circles on my face and I count to 90 and that's about it. Yeah, see what I mean? It's really weird, look. But I mean, if it's doing the job, it can be weird all at once. Then I just rinse it off with warm water, which is what I'll do now. But wait, before I rinse it, I'm sorry. I still can't get over it. I don't know what is causing that, but the texture is just so weird. And it happens every time. This is the third time I've used it. It's just so weird to me. All right, and I'll, I'll rinse it, I'll rinse it off. So now this rejuvenating peel, you're only supposed to use once or twice a week. So since I'm starting week two and the final week, this is my first time for this week. So all in all, I will use this four times during this test. The next step technically is supposed to be this guy. However, I changed it up. I am taking some liberties when it comes to the rules because I felt like when I put this on first, it does its little trick where it tightens everything. Then I was going in with the dark circles and I lift solution. And even though I was just using it on my eyes, I had already put this on my crow's feet. I felt like this was taking away the like tightening power. Not that it was washing this product away, but when I put put this on and I could see the tightening happen and then I would put this, it kind of like deactivated the tightening. So what I do now is I put this on first. I'm changing the rules and I put this on first because I put this on and then I put the tightening power on and it stays. So I'm not gonna lie, I have been putting this pretty much all over my face. So I just take like a pump or two. And I know it's for eyes, but I feel like it couldn't hurt to put it all over your face. So that's what I've been doing. I've really been taking some creative liberties when it comes to this skincare. I know that's not my norm. I'm usually a very good rule follower. It just didn't make sense to me. It does say dark circles and eyelid lift solution, but I honestly don't see the difference. If I can put it on my eyes, I can put it on the rest of my face. Why not? So that's what I do. Now, this stuff, I don't know, okay. So seven nights, I don't notice anything yet. However, I, it's like that damn henna cure mask, you guys. I have a fan, it just helps dry it faster. Here's what I would say, this is what I have been doing. Once I get done, you know, washing my face, putting my eye lift solution all over my face, and I'm ready to go to bed, I put this on. I try my best not to talk, not to move my face. I dry it with the fan, my whole face gets super tight, and then I just go in bed and I try not to move a muscle. I feel like that method is giving this the best possible chance at working in 14 days. Like I have to strategically think, okay, have I done everything before I'm going to bed? Do I need to talk to Joe at all? Do I need to brush my teeth? Do I need to go get some water? Do I need to do anything like that? I make sure I've got everything covered so that I can literally put this on, dry it, have it tighten my face, 
and then just sit in my bed like this until I fall asleep so that it doesn't crack. And when I wake up in the morning, around my mouth isn't as tight, but around my eyes still does feel like it has the tightness, like the forehead and the eyes. Maybe in my sleep, I'm opening my mouth and, you know, breathing and whatnot. Point of the story is, try your best to put this on and then don't move a muscle because I'm gonna show you. I know you kind of saw it the first day I tried it, but it's pretty cool. I'm gonna get all my talking out right now. When I put this on and then I fan dry it, you're gonna watch and see how Freaking tight my face looks. It's kind of amazing, but then what's also kind of amazing is that it doesn't, when you wake up, you kind of look like this again. So I don't know how it's going to work. I mean, after tonight, it only has what, six days left to prove its worth and do all of the magic that it said it was gonna do. And right now I don't feel like any of the lines are getting any fainter. And believe you me, I put it everywhere. Be more specific. Oh, you'll see, cause I'm gonna do it right now for you. Okay, so this is what I do. I just start loading up my finger. I usually do one pump at a time. I go into my uh, 11s first, these deeper lines close to my eyebrows. And right now is when I try not to move my forehead at all. I load up my finger again, and then I go into the rest of my forehead. Oh, and then try not to get your hair in it because it will dry with your hair in it. Forehead, done, don't move it. Then I go in with another pump and I go, up on my lid, I get all of this. Oh, and once it's dry, don't try to go back over it with more. It doesn't work. I tried it. Then I get another pump and I go in around my mouth and get into my marionette lines and down onto my chin. Swipe some over here on my cat scratch fever and then I bust out the fan. Now, don't blink because it's magic. I just do this to make it dry faster so I can get to bed faster. You see it happening? Okay guys, this is it. It's been 14 days. Our Duval test is officially over. Now, aside from my uh, ginormous zit that I've been picking at right here, do you notice any differences? Now, I did just wash my face and I used the facial rejuvenating peel just now, just right now. And then I took my after pictures. So what do we think? Now, let us not forget, this whole thing costs a fortune. We've got our syringe wrinkle and puffiness solution, regularly $900. However, on the website currently, it is on sale. It's only $750 instead of $900. While not the, you know, drag race show special of $600 off, which is what I got. So I only paid $300, you know, drag race discounts and all. Then we also have have the dark circles and eyelid lift solution regularly $400 again show special they threw it in for free and then our last item that we tested which I did use just now is the facial rejuvenating peel and this is $300 regular price. And again, show special, I got it for free. So basically, what is that? $1,600 if we purchased them not on sale and no show special. Three products, $1,600. Uh-huh, that's what we tested over the course of 14 days. Yeah. Now, our uh, wrinkle and puffiness solution, just to refresh your memory, so you know what you're looking for, when applied directly to fine lines and crow's feet, this professional quality treatment will visibly diminish the length and depth of your deepest wrinkles, leaving your skin with the flawless finish of youthfulness. I'm not making this shit up. It says it all right there. Do I have the flawless finish of youthfulness? 
Yeah. I don't think I'd go that far. I don't really think that I'm seeing visibly diminished length or depth of my deepest wrinkles. So, okay, it's hard to tell because right when I just did that, I'm like, does this one maybe look not as deep? I mean, the length, the length is there. But as far as the depth, maybe in, in my 11, I didn't, I didn't, I don't know how to measure depth. So all we can do is go off of the before versus the after. So let's check them out and see what we think. So yeah, I mean, no, that's still the same. It's like I permanently have like a wrinkle from, you know how the rock does? Like, it's like my eyebrows been lifted permanently and that's just there. And believe you me, I concentrated this stuff there. So I was talking to editor John and he always asks me when I say like, oh, I'm getting ready to do the finale of whatever it is that we've been testing. He's like, do you think it worked? And before I even take my after pictures, I'm like, yeah, nah, I don't think it worked at all. He was like, oh, well maybe at the very least you could use it before a special event and it would tighten up everything. And I was explaining to him, nope, that's a no. Because what happens is you put it on and it's clear and it dries clear and it tightens everything up nice and smooth. I'm just going to focus on my 11 here. And then when you move, wrinkle your face, do whatever, it's not like it cracks. It's not like the henna cure mask where it cracks, but the smooth, clear finish turns like a milky white, very chalky appearance. And I know this because when I wake up in the morning, my face looks like it has like a chalky white residue on it. You couldn't do this for an event and have everything be snatched because the minute you started to talk to anybody, you know, wink, blink, shrug your forehead, do whatever, it would create that white cast. And then also, I really don't think that makeup application over this would go well at all. So you don't even have the benefit of, you know, your skin's tight for like two hours or four hours or whatever, the however many hours you could get away with wearing it to like a nice evening out, make your face look super snatched. Uh, it's not all the way dry yet. When it gets super dry, I showed you guys, you know what it looks like when it's super dry. I was just trying to prove the point of it turns like this foggy white color. So I don't think you could benefit from just saying, all right, well, it's not something that's actually going to do anything except for immediately after I put it on because you're going to get this cast of whiteness on your face and that's no good. So yeah, I wouldn't even say that it's like just for like a temporary make me look snatched for like a couple of hours. So yeah, no, no. So you can see that it does smooth out everything even though like the hint of the line is still there. When you fold a piece of paper enough and you try to straighten it out, you still see the crease even though the paper's flat. That's what's happening here. But if I start to move, it definitely gets like a foggy little hazy cast. Point of the story is no, no, you can't use it for an event, Editor John. It's just not going to look good. I'd rather just keep my wrinkly face at the event. So there's that. And then this dark circles and eye lift solution. <sighs> no, I don't think it did anything. It has acai and caffeine in it. It says it's supposed to refresh and revive the look of tired eyes and dark circles and give skin a lifted look. Well, as I've always said, I don't feel like I have dark puffy under eyes. I did start using this all over my entire face and I didn't notice anything. I figure if it works here, it's gotta work elsewhere. And no, I don't think it did anything. I don't think it did anything at all. But maybe I can like give it to somebody who does have dark circles and puffy under eyes and maybe it will work for them. I don't know. But for me at, what was it, $400? Yeah, at $400, hell 
to the no, no, no. Now, I will say this. If you got an extra $300 lying around, I did really like the facial peel. I just did it right now. My skin feels so smooth. It just says it's supposed to rejuvenate the look of dull, tired skin, reveals a new layer of younger looking skin, promoting radiance and boosting the efficiency of your skincare products. I liked it, but also too, it's like pretty much any exfoliating, rejuvenating, peel sort of thing is gonna make your face feel really smooth. This one did have that weird textury ball up thing that just made me feel like it was my dead skin balling up. So I don't know, seeing that made me feel like it was like doing something, working better, getting rid of all the dead skin cells to reveal my youthful skin underneath. Uh, would I buy it if I had a spare $300 lying around? No, I wouldn't at all. Now, it does say you only have to use this twice a week, and I did just that. Ooh, I might have used it five times, and because tonight I used it, and I had already used it four times, and then I just used it one more time tonight before checking in. So, this is how much I have used, and I do take a big, like, finger dig out of it. Yeah, I probably have another four more uses. I did like it. Did it help with the appearance of my fine lines and wrinkles? No. Does my face look more glowy and rejuvenated because all the dead layers of skin are now off of it? I don't know. You guys tell me. I think my skin looks exactly the same as it did 14 days ago. Now, I know you're not going to be able to see it. <laughs> I can't get past the milky white thing. I just looked in the mirror and right between here, yeah, you're not going to be able to tell. But just believe me, I've never lied to you. Right between my eyebrows, it's not bright white, like not like my tank top, but there's a, there's a white-ish, milky, dried milk, white sort of a color right in between my eyebrows. So that's what happens to it when you start moving around and it like cracks itself. Again, not physical cracks like henna cure, but you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. So for $1,600 worth of product, thank the Lord I got Drag Race Show Special and only ended up paying $328.50 because we all know right now I would have never paid full price for any of this. $328 made me choke on the show floor. But I'm just saying, if we were to pay full price, total waste of money. Was it a waste of $328? Yes, I think so. We are two for two. We're two and oh. We tried one of these items that I purchased at the home show, total bust. Now this one from DragCon again. You guys can disagree with me in the comments below, but I'm just going to have to say, like, don't look at my 11s now because I just put it on. So they're going to look a little bit less deep. But look at here, here, here. I mean, look at it all. It's all the same. It's all the same. And if I hear one comment that says, the only thing that's going to help you now is a plastic surgeon. Mm-mm. No, 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 no. We are trying to age gracefully with some help from some products that tell us that they're going to help us out. And so far, we it's, we only have only had a handful of things over the last four years that have actually done what they say that they're going to do. And this is not one of those products. And the nerve of this company to be selling for any of these home show type companies to be selling these products. There cannot be anyone. I know they have a website and I know you can go buy their products on their website right now. I cannot believe that there is a single person in the universe that has actually ever purchased one of these products at full price from their website. I firmly believe that the before and after pictures are all taken on some sort of show floor where the person has gotten it at a huge deal like I did. If you or someone you know has purchased a product like this 
online that has cost upwards of a thousand plus dollars, please let me know. I am super curious, super, super curious. I just don't believe it. And I also believe that every before and after picture is also taken on the show floor. You know, when they're like, hey, come here. Can we show you something? You want to try something? And then they dab a dab a dab a right here. And then you're like, yes. And then they take the picture of the side that they didn't do anything to. And then the side that they did right after the treatment. And you think that's the permanent result. It's not at all. Don't believe the hype. I've fallen for it twice. It's like the old adage, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Do not, and I repeat, do not, no matter how tantalizing the discount may seem, do not purchase overpriced skincare at a discounted price at any sort of home show or drag con or comic con or any con whatsoever. Cause you know why? It's a con. I just thought of that right now. I'm super funny. So yeah, well, I tested it so you didn't have to. And now we all know we don't need to buy it. I don't even need to do the, the maintenance once or twice a week from here on out. There's nothing to maintain because it did nothing. It did nothing. So if I ever hint about buying a ridiculous solution that has stem cells in it because I could get a great deal from some fair, remind me, remind me, do not do it. Do not waste your, can you imagine how many skincare products I could have purchased at like the Target or the Walgreens or whatever for $328. Can you imagine? Yeah, but instead I bought, I bought this, I bought this stuff. So there you have it and there it is. We're done and it's a no for me dog. Jubal, no, it's a no. So yeah, it's been kind of a bummer recently with skincare. A lot of these products are not giving us the results that they say that they're going to give us in the amount of time that they say they will give them to us. So if you guys have any suggestions, anything that you've seen out there that you've been curious about, do the results look too good to be true? Do you want me to test it out? Leave it in the comments below because again, I've said it once, I've said it a million times. I have to believe that there is something out there that actually does what it says it will do in the amount of time that it says it will do it. Now, I'm not looking for a full-on Benjamin Button reversal situation. You know, just smooth things out just a little bit. I still wanna look as old as I am, but I just wanna look a little bit more zhuzhed, you know, a little more snatched on occasion. Maybe not as wrinkly and sharp ish Is that too much to ask? I still feel like that's aging gracefully. It's just, you know, trying to polish things up. I don't, I don't see a problem with that. I don't see a problem with that at all. So if you have any products you'd like me to test, please put them in the comments below. And with all that said, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to ring that notification bell so that you are alerted to all of the Skincare Saturday videos I push out every other Saturday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Be sure to share this video with your family and friends. And as always, thanks for hanging out.